Hello, boys and girls. I'd like to introduce you to my own personal fucking nightmare for the past... Oh, not for the past, but for almost three months. Cumulatively, it's about been about... I don't know. I want to say I want to say I, I spent a good week and a half cumulatively over the past three months trying to figure this piece of shit out and why it won't fucking work the way I want it to. Exhibit A. Here's the fucking culprit. This motherfucker. This is what this is. This is um. Uh, fucking this holds this holds the extruder this latches on to this stepper motor right here it's supposed to go like like call it this ain't it let me see this is actually the piece this is the this is the part that broke on me this is what I was tr fucking trying to figure out from fucking almost week and a half cumulatively over three months see a little crack in there I, I try to glue it it still is a piece of shit you see that see how it cracked right there see it's supposed to go it's supposed to latch on here's where the stepper, stepper motor you know engages with the cogs and the gears of the fucking extruder. Right? Right here is where here's a stepper motor. It's turning. It's turning. Clockwise or on anti clockwise, I don't know. And right here is a little bearing that holds that holds the fucking extruder gear. It's supposed to hold this piece right here. See how? See how that? This turns. And what's turning this is this fucking motor right here. But this has a little inner gear that meshes with the, the main gear of this fucking step motor. So if this stepper motor turns, this is supposed to fucking, this wheel is supposed to turn. And where does that, and the wheel has a little fucking, an axle with the bearing. So this little fucking wheel right here, remember, bearing. It has an axle that fucking feeds into a bearing. And a bearing, where does it sit? It's a metal bearing. It sits right in there. And how well does that fucking tolerate stress? Well, evidently, not very well. That Remember I said it's fucking glue. I tried to glue it. Didn't work worth the shit still. Look at that. Fucking cracked. There's a metal bearing. It fits right into that this fucker right here. And the fucking cracked. The metal bearing cracked this fucking cheap plastic piece of shit. Let's see if I can find it. Take. Uh, I think this is the piece right here. Uh, this is it right here. See that? That's the metal bearing. Like I said, the little plastic. That little, that's this little fucking plastic uh, gear has an axle that feeds into this, to this little bearing right there. And what is it surrounded by? Metal against plastic. How long is that supposed to hold up? Evidently, this broke on me about two weeks into me using this piece of shit. That's Sobel SV1. Yeah, so about after two weeks, this fucking cracked. Fucking motherfucker, right?
This is what Solva sent me when I told them about their little fucking engineering uh, mishap. They sent me another plastic piece of shit and some more plastic parts. And I don't know, I'll just keep it just in case something happens. But yeah, this is load this on. Like, I gotta put this on the machine so I can spend another fucking whatever. An hour of fucking frustration taking it off again. I'm talking to Solva to give me a new another bag of bag of parts of shit. Bag of shit right here. This is what I call it. Replacement bag of shit right here. This is all fucking plastic. Metal against plastic. Fucking brakes. Every time. So how did I fix it? <clears throat> First. As you can see. It's all metal. This is the extruder. This. These are equal. Except this is plastic. This is all fucking aluminum. Every part of this is aluminum. Except this little black gear. Right here. If that breaks then fuck I'm fucking screwed. Whatever. The one major modification I had to fit this, the metal, the metal extruder into this was, I'm going to void my warranty now, or I voided my warranty now, but fuck Solo. As you can see, I had to take a little rotary grinder. Let me see if I can get into it. I had to take a little rotary grinder. Grind this out, maybe about a couple, maybe about three or four millimeters off this metal backing right here. As you can see, this metal backing whole, you know, is the is the binding plate for, you know, stepper motor, extruder, hot end. It all bolts into this peak, this fucking metal. Metal backing right here. So, for me to get this little black gear through this metal binding, I had to take a fucking diamond tip bit attached to a rotary rotary tool and just fucking grind out about three or four millimeters. And as you can see, this fucking little black gear, maybe about a millimeter clearance between the black gear and the housing. And that was it. That was the only modification I had to do. See? One reason why they have, you know, why, 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 why this fucking, this piece of, where is it? Why this piece of shit broke. It's because this tensioner right here The original tensioner is this shit right here. Plastic. It screws in right there. And you and it pushes up. It pushes this piece. Tensioner goes in, pushes this piece against the filament. And that puts force. On this gear right here which goes into this there's supposed to be a bearing here a little round bearing but I don't know I chucked it fucking in frustration and this happens the plastic that's why the old Solval SV01's a piece of fucking garbage and another Addendum to it being a piece of garbage. You have to buy one of these fucking things if you plan on printing anything big BL touch it's fucking Look at that look at how I had a fucking I had a shimmy with what I had to put like shimmies like washers in there because it was like uh, My hot end 
was like crashing into the fucking build plate. So I just shimmy this fucking thing up with some washers. Get it all even. Otherwise, you won't get any fucking reputable build builds without, without a big build. Without that BL touch. And you definitely won't get any extrusion out of this cheap plastic shit that Solo SV01 is fucking putting on their fucking junk machines and shit. Other than that, it works pretty good. But, like I said, this whole, this whole fucking hot end, I got it from Banggood for like 24 bucks. Took me about two weeks to get it from Canada. They ship from Canada sometimes. Yeah, all this fucking aluminum. This shit. Bag of shit. It's all plastic fucking bullshit. Waste of fucking time. Waste of life bullshit right here. Anyways, thought, you'd give you, thought I'd give you a heads up on the Solvo SV01. It must be like Solvo SV01. Uh, shit, shit, fucking something. Shit V01. I don't know what that SV01 stands for, but it must, it, there must be shit somewhere in the acronym.